me, Jess. Um, this is going to be the November uh, Sips by, um, on, it's not really an unboxing, tour of box and mini review. Um, I'm going to, we'll do the business part, which is a quick overcap, recap of uh, the whole Sips by thing. We'll go over the teas, then we'll go over my general thoughts, um, and I will talk about why I'm canceling. Uh, so, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> in dramatic <laughs> clickbaity words. Okay, so um, I, I'm i in a weird mood. Sips by four teas, four servings each month. Subscription service, 15 bucks a month. Um, you get to go in and create a profile, tell them things that you don't want, things that you do want, and they will come up with new and exciting things for you to try that show up at your house magically like subscription box do. You get a little card that has all the information on it. This one's been sitting in my lunch bag, so it's been a little bit uh, mangled. Um, and we'll go through the teas. So this uh, month we have two black teas, one green tea, and one mint tea. Or herbal infusion, if you're not in the U.S. Um, we'll start off with the black tea. So this is the English tea number one by Ahmad Tea. It is a full-bodied black tea. It says that it has a light flavor of bergamot. Um, I can't give this a honest review because I took this to work and I made a cup of tea and then true to my usual form, I got distracted and let it sit there. And when this oversteeps, it becomes the most bitter, <laughs> the most unpleasant experience ever. I am sure if I followed the directions and only let the steep for the three to five minutes that it says, it would be delicious. But I didn't do that on the one day that I took this tour to try it out. So that's the warning. It's black tea. Next is uh, the Republic of Tea Organic Mint Fields. Um, it is a peppermint and spearmint blend. So it's very similar to plantation mint. Um, it was a mint tea. Uh, next we have, and I don't know how to pronounce this exactly, Altco, O-L-L-T-Co. Um, and this is the Organic Assam Black Tea. I have to hide this because my cat wants to chew on the crunchy plastic. Um, it is a high caffeine, uh, Multi black tea, according to the card, it was good. I liked it. Um, it recommend or it says it'd be perfect for milk or cream. I agree. I might give it a shot with some like soy milk later because that's what we have in our house. Um, yeah, I liked it. I actually like this format too. It feels very low waste, you know, because the bag's very small. It's very lightweight plastic. Um, I have clips. I have tea bags. Um, so that's good. The last one is David's Tea. I think anyone who um, likes to sample a variety of teas probably has experience with David's Tea. This isn't one that I've tried before. It's the Organic Spice is Right, or The Spice is Right, um, as a um, child who grew up watching The Price is Right. Um, or, and by child, I mean like college student. Before, cl before class, um, I enjoyed that. This um, has green tea in it, but the rest is um, uh, like spices, basically. Um, and it smells very much like those pine cones outside of the craft store. So it's like 100% cinnamon. And to be honest, that's really all I taste. It's a very light colored infusion. When it's um, in your cup, it almost looks clear. Um, and I really only do get that cinnamon flavor. It is supposed to have uh, orange peel, cloves, chili pepper, and um, natural flavorings, and that's all lost to me. So, but um, I I would use this for other things. Like this would be good for mulling things with. Um, so like apple cider or red wine or cranberry juice, if you really like that sort of um, fall spicy beverage. Uh, warmed or cold. I think that this would be a great addition. You could just put it in a tea bag, 
chuck it in your liquid of choice. I think it needs to be heated probably in order to get that flavor transfer. Um, but it would be, it'd be something to do for maybe for the holidays if you're uh, having a small gathering or doing a virtual hangout uh, to do something that would be fun like that. So that's, I'm gonna take a sip of water. That's the box. I think that this is my fifth box, but to be honest, time is getting away from me and I'm not really sure it's either fifth or sixth, um, but I am canceling. So let's talk about the experience um, and kind of where I think it's falling short for me. So uh, there is a website associated with SipSpy where you can see all the teas, you can order them, and you can rate the products that you get from them. And that's supposed to help them curate what you get in the next box. So if you say, oh, I absolutely hate something, um, they'll be like, oh, don't include you know, this coconut flavored tea because they don't like coconut. The problem comes, I think, with when you say that you like something, it kind of pushes your preferences over to that instead of it being more of a discovery thing. And it's like, oh, well, if you like this, you might like this related thing. It's like, oh, you like Earl Grey, you're gonna get all of the Earl Greys. Or you like English tea from this one company, let's see what other English style teas this other company has. And so I'm not seeing as much variety in the things as I kind of expected. And maybe that's just expectations versus limitations and realities that they have. Um, but considering of all of, all of the herbal things that are out there, I'm getting a lot of mint because I said I liked mint. And I'm getting a lot of English style black teas because I said that I like those. And there have been things that I've not particularly liked and I've gone in and said I wasn't particularly pleased by this. But that really shouldn't limit it as much as it seems to. And I don't know if the problem is their catalog is actually not as large or the software that they're using is saying, oh, if you liked this, uh, you know, golf sized umbrella, maybe you need a slightly smaller umbrella if that's the sort of algorithm style that they're using. I'm not sure. But the nice thing about subscription boxes is you can cancel them. So I'm gonna cancel this and then I'm gonna go back to ordering teas um, kind of as as I need them. <laughs> Although who really needs tea? As, as I want to order tea um, and, and kind of branching out in more of a what sounds interesting to me. So I did just place an order with Adagio so I'll do a tea, tea haul um, video later on in this week. Um, but the good thing is, yeah, like I can cancel this. I'm sure they'll try and, you know, there might even be a pause option. I'm not really sure. I haven't investigated it yet. But I think right now I need to take a break from it. Um, so I, if you're interested, I still think it was a fun, a fun thing to try. I'm not saying anything bad. Um, it's just kind of run its course in terms of, my particular interest level. So I hope everyone's doing well. I'll see you later. Bye.